Okay, welcome back YouTube. My name's Emma if you don't know who I am. I'll just start off by saying I'm pregnant with baby number two. Mostly why I've been MIA for months on YouTube. So I am going to try and pound out all these videos. I just want to start this video off by sending all our love out to any parents who are trying and struggling with infertility or anything like that. Just trying to be as sensitive as possible with this topic because I know it can be really hard for some people and uh, my heart just goes out for you. For starters, a little backstory for me in case you don't know my situation. I am pregnant with baby number two. I currently have a two-year-old daughter with my husband and we got married in May of 2022. There's like the age gap that there is is because we didn't want to try until after the wedding. I didn't want to be sick during the wedding. I didn't want to have to have complications with like fitting a dress to a bump or like trying to figure that all out. That just seemed like an added complication, not necessary. You're going to see this first clip here. We started trying like a couple days, I think, before our wedding because of ovulation timing, whatever. So I have clips here of me taking my first pregnancy test on our honeymoon. Before we went on our honeymoon, I knew there was a slight chance that I would end up getting a positive pregnancy test. And I had this whole plan like months in advance that I obviously wanted my daughter Avery to be involved in telling my husband. So I bought this shirt that was like a big sis shirt. Somehow she was going to be wearing it. My mother-in-law was watching my daughter while we were on our honeymoon. So I have this package that I like like hid in a secret compartment like in her suitcase so no one would come across it unless I like s specifically directed them to it and I have like huge instructions on it to like not open it <laughs> unless I told them to. I had put a t-shirt inside of a sweater because I wanted my husband to be the first to find out. My plan was to tell my mother-in-law to put the sweater and the t-shirt on my daughter all at once and then she was going to FaceTime us and then get her to take the sweater off so at least my husband and my mother-in-law would find out together. Okay, so I have very limited time to do this. Right now, Riley and I are on our honeymoon in Santorini, Greece. So we've been glued to each other, but I really wanted to surprise him with a pregnancy test and I wanted to take it before him and tell him afterwards. So that was like exciting and fun. So I sent him to go get me some dessert right now. So I had to quickly go take the test before he gets back. So I'll be back. <laughs> So I just have the test upside down because I cannot sit for three minutes just waiting for a line to drop so it's easier for you to just flip it over afterwards. The reason I'm taking this is because we're trying but I had some bleeding today and I'm not sure if it's a period or implantation bleeding. Thought it was time to check it out. This is absolutely killing me. I did the minimum time too. My heart's pounding. <laughs> Yeah, so obviously that one was negative. That just ended up being like a normal period. I was on birth control leading all up until the wedding and that was my first month being off of birth control. So I'm just kind of thinking maybe my body just needed to kind of have a normal cycle, get everything going. It just wasn't meant to be, which is totally fine. It was the first month like trying and I was like kind of maybe still tapering off of birth control. I don't know, maybe it just didn't happen. So then this next clip you see is in June, like a month or so later. There's confusion here because <laughs> with taking the pregnancy test. <laughs> I was very confused. So I had tests and I got rid of the boxes. We were moving. For me, anytime I've taken a pregnancy test before, it usually tells you on the pregnancy test like what each result means. Like I'll show you, oh, the cross means a positive or this one's just supposed to be two lines or whatever. This one didn't. It didn't show you on the package and I saw the two lines and for some reason I thought this was like a cross. It was supposed to be a cross. So like I didn't use my brain at all. I'm just like, you know, you're like really in the moment. So I'm trying to figure out if this test is positive or negative. I hop in the shower trying to figure out what the heck to do and I'm like, okay, I guess I gotta wait and I'll like take another test that I actually know what the result's gonna mean because I had a digital test. But then halfway through my shower, I realized the other test from that package was the one I took on the honeymoon and I take it a picture of the negative result. I like hurried my shower as fast as I could, got as like much soap out as I could. <laughs> it was probably still like a little crusty. And I was trying to recall my memory during that whole shower. I was like, I'm pretty sure there was 
was no lines. Found the picture and I realized the two lines meant positive. I feel like because it was just a little backwards, so I feel like it didn't really hit me then. So then luckily I kind of had to pee again. I peed on a digital test. So I feel like I had a really underwhelming response because I was like, I think I'm pregnant. Okay, I am pregnant, but that's okay. It still worked out. I was still very excited. It was just like very confusing trying to figure this all out in silence by myself, but also with very limited time without anyone getting suspicious. So that's why this is all the way it was. So I'm currently at my friend's house, Lucia's house. It is June 28th. My period is a weekish late, but I don't know how regular it is. So like if I'm actually tracking properly, I'm about a week late. I haven't taken a test because me and my husband Rylan have been moving from Canada down to Seattle. Um, and we currently have no place to live. We've been like house hunting like crazy. Right now we're just living in a little hotel. Um, I didn't really want to take a pregnancy test there. It just was, I just don't want that memory to be at a hotel. I don't know why. I just think it would be better to be at Lucia's. The last time I found out I was pregnant, I was roommates with Lucia at the time, so very fitting, I think. Anyways, I've been trying really hard to like figure out how I can make this work so that Rylan's the first to know. I take a pregnancy test at Lucia's house without her knowing and Avery's involved in the plan and telling Rylan. I'm actually going over to Lucia's house to like hang out anyways and then um, I was gonna shower in her place because I didn't feel like showering at the hotel because it's like really tiny. So I think when I'm showering, I'm just gonna quickly do it like then and she'll just think I'm taking a long time in there showering because if I just go there to like go to the bathroom, she'll probably just think I'm pooping. I could pretend to poop too, but if I have the shower on, then I can talk and hopefully she can't hear me. We'll see how that audio goes. But I'm like, I don't know if this is the best time to do it. I'm just so impatient. I can't wait anymore. I can't believe I've waited a week. It just like so worked out that the timing was like as soon as I could test, Rylan had to leave and I had to stay in Canada. So we were separated for a while. So I didn't want to take the test while we weren't even in the same country. You can like watch my whole like moving vlog and everything to see like why it was all so complicated with moving. We're both in the same country now. He's at work today. So he's like not in my hair. So I think maybe I'll do that and then I'll go pick him up from work. Hopefully with a positive test. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'm really nervous, but I think I am. I don't know. I don't, I only think I am because I haven't gotten a period, but I, I used to have really irregular periods. Last month, I really, really thought I was pregnant. I was so tired. I was napping so much on the honeymoon and I never napped that much. And like, it wasn't even jet lag napping. Like I would straight like have a normal night's sleep was on a totally like correct time of like whatever time zone we were in. And then I would have, like one day I just had a six hour nap and I was like, there's no way I can't be. And then I, I wasn't, which was super weird. So I don't really know what that was about. So I have been having some symptoms recently but I have a lot of random symptoms from some medications I take so like they kind of mesh with pregnancy symptoms so I just have like some nausea pretty frequently these days but I always have nausea I get like motion sick really easily I get nauseous if I don't eat so I like haven't really like pinned that down to be like morning sickness or anything so I don't really know yeah okay let's go in and take a test sneaky though <laughs> We got AF with us too. You're gonna go take a nap in Auntie Chia's bedroom while mommy takes a test, hey? You have no idea what's happening. Oh, 
Hey, show her what your shirt says. You're covering it. Stop covering it on purpose. <laughs> Get over here. Avery! Get over here. This is not how this is supposed to go. Turn it down. <laughs> show it to Alexa. What's on your shirt? Did you see it, Let Alexa? Do you know what's happening? It's a fake mister. It does say fake mister. Congratulations. Yay, Avery. It's so exciting. My parents told me something I don't like. Comment down below any questions you have. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to follow along with my pregnancy journey.